Hello everybody and welcome back to my latest video in my Road to Eden series. In today's episode we will take a look on the big military point of interest in Zone 1 that can be located at the end of this road. Keep in mind I've said this in two videos before so third time as well. The maps ain't accurate but it's within this area. And I've divided this point of interest in three sections. Section 1 where we can find MISC items, Section 2 with big focus on solar panels and Section 3 which has a big focus on ammo. While doing this point of interest you really want two kinds of weapons, one for long range and one for short range. The reason is because in Section 2 you will need a long range weapon unless you want to try to dodge about three spitters spitting at you from a uh, elevated position. So of course we're going to start with section 1. This is not really a section where I'm right now, this is just like the buffer area where everything starts. So let's get into section 1 and I'll just show you where you can loot and what you can find. In here we have two bookcases, which is good, because you can never get too many books in case you want to find all the recipes you want to find. Unfortunately that one was empty, and so was that one. Here we have plenty of ammo boxes and two medical cabinets. The syringes are used for a bio uh, table as well as some beakers and what I think is cords that you can find in zone 2. Personally I haven't done that yet, I'm hoping to complete it next week. I usually never find anything that interesting in these tents. You have some uh, building crates and some more ammo, but I still don't know. I have to say that this place does not give as much ammo as the tunnels, because the tunnels you have easier enemies to kill, so you save more of the ammo you find from killing all the mobs inside of the tunnels. For example, you do not have the rotten in the tunnels. In the tunnels you just have skeletons that I call biters, as well as spiders, small and big. The big spiders takes about 8 shotgun shells with this shotgun, and the skeletons takes 1 to 2. And this time I came prepared with some pills for this poison, so just pop one of those and you're cured. The worst AK, good for scrapping. The reason you want to scrap weapons you don't want to use is because you get springs and the springs you can use to make weapon repair kits. To repair the weapons you want to keep.
The thing I like with uh, this section 1 is that this one is fairly easy to get to, the ammo box. In section 3 there is about 5 of these, but I only know how to get to 3 of them because I haven't... Because I have not found a way to jump up to the other, th other two. <laughs> so hopefully you're more lucky about that than me. I never find anything fun in these flight cases. Maybe you're more lucky than me, or more unlucky. I have to say that the main loot in this point of interest is most likely the concrete. It's most likely the concrete and the ammo. As well as the solar panels that you need to make everything related to the solar panels. And for a medium solar panel I think you need a total of 45 small solar panels. And when you find guns you want to use or don't want to use, just click on them, unload them to make sure you get the ammo, and then just scrap it. You might get something fun out of it. And that was section 1. To get into section 2, you just go back to where you came from, and you want to go into this tent with the medical symbol, with the red cross. And as soon as you leave this building you will most likely face some harder to kill enemies, a mental, a mental patient and uh, a rotten. That's usually what I face as soon as I usually leave this place. So take those guys down and do not go in that direction because that's where we have all the spirits. And obviously, they got me. So just try to run away from them if you're getting chased by more infected. I usually head straight this way to avoid the spitters, clear this area. Here you have a fuel dispenser where you can find some uh, fuel. Two fuel canisters and two jerry cans. The fuel canisters gives you 200, no sorry, 500 fuel and the jerry can gives you 1000. So if you want to fill up a car fast, you use the jerry cans. Biofuel only gives you 100. But I usually use that for when I'm refilling my generator when I use that instead of my solar panels. And this is why you want a long range weapon to take care of the spitters that are located on that walkway. Usually there is two or three of them, sometimes there might even be four. So keep your eyes up and try to avoid that area until you have cleared it. There's the last one. And this is why I find assault rifles very unreliable because, well, I just used up like two mags to kill four. While it's just two shots with a crossbow if the crossbow actually hits them. Anyway, now when that's cleared, we can start cleaning up below us. There we have the mental health patients, or well, the asylum patient, I think they're called. And 
And if you saw my previous video about basic combat, this is what I meant with if you're playing online, you might have some lag while fighting. Even if you back away, they sometimes do hit you, and sadly that can't be avoided. So once you've cleared the general area, you can loot these wooden boxes. Once again, I never find anything fun in them except like propane, if I'm lucky. Tarps, rebar rods. What you want to go for within section 2 is within the tents. So just peek in, you have lockers for gear and these, the solar cells boxes. And you want to pick these up and uh, bring them home with you because like I said before you want to have solar panels for electricity and to make your medium solar panels. And the solar panels in my opinion are what you want to have for power. Generators, yes, they give you more power, but they also require fuel, and to get fuel you have to loot more. The solar panels, they just keep giving you solar power every time the sun shines, and you just connect to a few batteries and you're set. I never use my generator unless I really need to use a lot of power during the night times, but I have enough power but I have enough power saved from my solar panels during the day that I do not really need to unless I really really have to so just check these tents when you're in zone section 2 and loot all the solar panels you find you might even find some medical supplies, batteries or other components you might need to make your own solar panels. On a good, my best run I came away with about 60 solar panels and that was great because then I could make my big solar panels straight away. And I do not regret making those. <laughs> you also have these advanced crafting items but the only thing I find in them is usually batteries, some more solar cells and some medkits. But if you need batteries I should recommend I recommend you to save the uh, 300 ones and maybe one or two of the large ones of 200 because that's what you make that's how you make the big power banks and the big one is actually pretty big it's a lot of space but it's also cool up here So in this tent you can find a weapon case, usually holds a gun. I have to say that the weapon cases have a bigger probability of spawning a weapon sometimes than the weapon crates. I don't know why, but that's just how it feels. And I just realized that I had not turned on my microphone, so once again, I have not found a way to get into that tower. 
apparently have to jump on the scaffoldings. You want to pick the content from the orange crates as well as the less orange crate that you find on the ground. These big orange crates I have not found a way to get to myself, but the small ones that you saw me pick before, those I know where to find and those are easy to loot because they're on the ground. Next you want to go into this tent and you have three ammo caches, well three ammo boxes. And as you can see I still don't bother with a 9mm because that pistol is more or less extremely useless. Opposite side you have even more ammo boxes. So remember what I said in my combat tutorial, ammo is easy to come by. Well. Here you have it. <laughs> it looks so simple, but I have no absolute idea how to get up there. <laughs> I got them time for this boss, okay? Almost as annoying as the screamers. <laughs> Let's sponsor level 15 right now. There is a poll on the Discord. If we go to Mixu, it's going to reduce the spawn rate of them because a lot of people find them extremely annoying. But they keep coming. Every single moment you're awake. Luckily, so far they have not come in this recording. They did, however, come when I was on my way here waiting for the bomb to come so I could stop recording. So there might actually still be one here somewhere. He's just extremely quiet for once. And here is the last solar panel, uh, well, solar cell cache. I did not pick anyone up because I have all the solar cells I need, and I generate enough power to maintain my base, and a lot more. <laughs> and the last place you can loot in section 3 is behind here, and it's this tower. seems to be gone. But I think I did miss an orange crate on the ground, so I'm going to take an extra look around to see if I actually did miss it. Yes, I did. Here's the last one. That I know where to, that I know about. <laughs> so if you know how to get to that chest up there and to that chest over there, feel free to write to that in the comment section below. And let's see if we can help some other people out, including me, <laughs> to get even more ammo. And to get away from here you can either do as I usually do, and that is when I've looted that tower, I just jump down on the side of the wall and run out. Or you can go out here. The reason I did not start in section 3 is because you need a key to open this gate, and I don't know if that key has been implemented to the game yet, or if it will be forever locked. But since you, it says you require a key to open it, I think it's something that Su King has planned for future content. So, right now we're somewhere safe, and let's see how much ammo we got from this adventure. And there we hear the Howler. Oh look, he's behind. Ha! You won't be able to get to me. Too bad, bastard. Let's see if we can spot him. Ah, there he's walking. Annoying as usual. Okay, so this is the ammo we got from uh, this point of interest. I did come here with about three boxes of uh, shotgun shells, so we kind of gained four more, as well as we kept those three. We went away with almost five stacks of 44. 
I did come here with about 140 762, so we more or less got one more box of that. 240 150 cals, some glow sticks, three smoke grenades and two normal grenades. So we didn't get away with a fair amount of ammo. But when it comes to shotgun shells, I have to say that the, uh, the tunnels are way better. And just as a bonus, I'm going to kill these screamer because I find them extremely annoying. They will, these kinds of enemies will spawn when you hit level 15. And they will keep spawning. They will spawn in the morning, afternoon, in the night. When you're crafting in your base, when you're just trying to cook some food, they, they spawn a bit too often and they are just a nuisance to the players. So that's why the poll is asking players if their spawn rate should be reduced, and of course I voted yes. But until next time, stay safe, stay prepared, and stay alive out there, survivors. <laughs>